Hello everyone. I uh, just wanted to take a minute to get some visuals together, start a little project. Um, but today we're going to be focusing on the brush stroke timing, which is what we've kind of been working on a little bit in uh, the lower groups, discovery and age group. Um, but first, we're going to talk a little bit about the pullout. Well, and during the pullout, we always talk about having the different phases. We have the dolphin kick, followed by the pull. You sneak the hands into the recovery. We have our breaststroke kick, and then the first stroke that head has to be above the water. Um, so we'll watch a full clip of the breaststroke, then I'm going to bring it back. We'll start watching in slow motion. We'll stop it a handful of times and talk about the different phases of breaststroke so that we can get our timing down. So here's the full clip. So we've got the start of the pullout getting the head above the water, and then we're driving down the pool. All right, then you have your open turn. All right, and then we're just gonna bring it all the way back, and then we'll start walking our way through some of our timing. So we're gonna hit it slow motion. So here we go, we're pushing off the wall. You're gonna get that big, strong dolphin kick, followed by a pull. Sneaking the hands back up with that kick. And then that first stroke getting our head above the water. Okay. So now the first thing that we're actually going to look at right now is the fastest position that you can always be in is going to be a streamlined position. So in breaststroke, this right here, what we're looking at is actually as close to um, a streamline as we can possibly be. Um, from here, this is pretty much what I always consider the beginning of our stroke. Um, so when I'm talking to the swimmers, right here, we always get, are going to start opening up with those arms for the out sweep, coming up above the water. So if you ever hear me say, pull, breathe, kick, glide, this is the beginning. So we're pulling, getting that breath, driving those hands forward. Now, from right here, as we're going into that recovery, as we're driving our hands forward, as my hands came up, we're looking at those heels coming up at the same time. So hands coming forward, heels coming up to the um, back of uh, our hips. And so from here, this is how we are going to be the fastest we can be. We're in that streamlined position, and now the kick is going to drive us and allow us to cut through the water. Sometimes what you'll see when we are in this kick position is our hands will actually be more out here. So sometimes you'll see the swimmers starting their pull at this time instead of holding their line. And so you'll see a bunch of resistance hitting our arms there. So we don't want that. We want to be in that streamlined position. So we want to be able to go directly down the pool, and then that is where the kick will help us go completely forward and without resistance. So hands come forward, heels come up, getting that little bit of a glide. Now each race uh, between the 50, the 100, and the 200 are gonna look a little bit different, more for like the 50 and the 100. As soon as those heels come together, you'll see the hands start coming into the out sweep. Uh, 200s, you'll see a lot longer of a glide, and so, uh, going back again, because the kick is the driving force for the stroke, we really want to make sure that we're in a good position so we can be as fast as we can be. Uh, we're just going to let this run through in slow motion. And then that is a little bit of what we want to talk about for the gliding. It's making sure those hands are coming forward as the heels come up and that we actually allow our heels to come all the way together before we open those arms uh, going into that out sweep and that catch. So if you found this helpful, let me know, and then uh, we can look at making some more. All right, thanks. Bye.